Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are talking about Porsche's Dynamic Boost, which you can think of as a mild form of anti-lag. I say this because its objective is to maintain boost when you let off throttle, but it does so without using any fuel. And so it's a very simple, very neat method uh, which they've implemented, uh, but on the scale of you know mild to super spicy as far as how aggressive an anti-lag system may be, this is going to be on the much more mild end of it. And so how does it work? Well, first let's take a look at the engine, then we'll get into the dynamics of how this actually functions. And so here we have a Boxer 6 engine. Of course, the cylinders look like they're pointed directly towards you, when in reality they would be laying flat. Uh, it was just easier to draw this way. But you've got your air, it comes into your turbocharger compressors, passes through the intercooler, joins up here for a single throttle body, then enters the intake manifold, goes into your cylinders, out the exhaust, spools up the turbine for the turbocharger, and then out the back of the car. That's how this uh, simple engine is going to work uh, for these turbocharged boxer engines, but how will it use this dynamic boost function and, and when does this dynamic boost function occur? So to talk about this, we're just going to have this example of a car going around a corner. And so of course you're at full throttle as you get into it, you start to brake, you hit the apex and then you get back on the throttle and you accelerate out of that corner. And so how does this system function during these different steps? Well, initially on full throttle, of course, your throttle body is going to be completely open. You're injecting a ton of fuel. Your turbochargers are spooled up. You're making lots of power. Things are great. Then you lift, and when you lift, this is where this dynamic boost function happens. And so it does this in sport modes, and it does this kind of depending on how you're driving. But when you're in this mode and you do lift, what happens is most engines will do two things. First, they will close that throttle valve completely because you've let off the throttle uh, of the accelerator pedal and that says, hey, close the throttle. So it shuts the throttle completely and then it stops injecting fuel. That's what most engines will do. What Porsche does here differently is they don't actually close the throttle valve. So they do stop injecting fuel, but they leave this throttle valve wide open. Now, why do they do this? Well, there's two main reasons. So the first one is that by leaving that throttle valve wide open, you have more air flowing through the engine. And because of that, your drop in boost is not going to be as fast than if you were to close that throttle valve. So if you close it, you don't have much airflow going through the engine and that turbocharger quickly loses boost. If you leave it open, you have more air flowing through the engine and it helps that turbocharger stay at a higher level of boost because you have air running through it. The second thing is once you get back on the throttle, so now you're accelerating, you hit that apex and you start to get back on the throttle, because this intake manifold is already full of atmospheric air, it's like you've got you know, a naturally aspirated engine that's instantly getting all that throttle. So your throttle response is going to be much improved because you don't have to wait for the time for this to fill up with atmospheric air, you're just waiting for that boost to come back. So you have you know, a, a certain level of boost maintained and you're gonna have a really good response and throttle because you don't wait for this intake to fill up. So it's a neat system that they've done, a uh, very simple solution. All you're doing is leaving the throttle open when you lift. So it's cool that, you know, something this simple can have an effect. Uh, and it's, it's a bit strange because your, your foot is telling it to do one thing and the engine is doing something different in order uh, to make you happy on that corner exit. But a neat system. I think it's cool what they've done. If you guys have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below. Thanks for watching.